This program is brought to you by Link TV for educational and non-commercial use only. The truce between Israel and Hamas has ended. The UN Security Council passes a new resolution on the Palestinian-Israeli conflict. Will the Annapolis peace process survive? And what is Abbas doing in Washington? Answers to these questions and more on Link TV's Mosaic Intelligence Report. Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas is in Washington. Why? According to his spokesman, Nabil Aburdena, the president is working to obtain the end of the Israeli blockade imposed on Gaza. But according to an official in Gaza, the visit is yet another photo op. Nothing less, nothing more. The visit comes at a time when Hamas has declared that the six-month ceasefire between Israel and the Gaza Strip is over. The ceasefire officially ended at daybreak in Gaza on Friday. Whether we have a truce or not, the siege remains. The Izzeddin al-Qassam brigades, the armed wing of the Hamas movement, blamed Israel for the failure of the truce. Israel blames Hamas. We will not be deterred from carrying out as wide as an action as necessary in Gaza, but are also not racing to do so. When the situation will require a broad action, we will of course take action. It seems that the cycle of violence will continue. Meanwhile, a new poll jointly conducted by the Harry S. Truman Research Institute for the Advancement of Peace at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem and by the Palestinian Center for Policy and Survey Research in Ramallah revealed that two-thirds of Palestinians support the Arab Peace Initiative, a plan that offers Israel full recognition by Arab countries in return for withdrawing from occupied lands, and nearly two-thirds of Israelis oppose it. If the findings are an accurate representation of Palestinian and Israeli public opinions, then we are no closer to reaching a peaceful resolution to the Palestinian-Israeli conflict than we've been led to believe by the Annapolis Peace Conference masterminds Bush, Olmert and Abbas. The timing of the poll coincides with another interesting development. In a resolution co-sponsored by the United States and Russia, the UN Security Council declared its support for the process initiated at Annapolis and its commitment to the irreversibility of the bilateral negotiations between Israelis and Palestinians. Security Council Resolution 1850, adopted December 16th by a vote of 14 to nothing, with Libya abstaining, also reiterated the Council's support for a two-state solution. It is the first time in five years that the Council has weighed in to lend its support to the Israeli-Palestinian negotiations. However, Israelis and Palestinians have never put much stock in UN resolutions. Most of them remain ink on paper and unimplemented. But what's interesting about this resolution is the fact that the Bush administration in its final days, after having avoided involving the UN in the Palestinian-Israeli negotiations, finally turned to the United Nations. This simply tells us we're back to square one. What that, what that resolution does is that it would put the International Committee on record in believing in the irreversibility of the Annapolis process, bilateral negotiations towards the two-state solution, a comprehensive resolution, and the various principles that the two parties established. We're back to more resolutions, more conferences, more negotiations, and more empty promises. Meanwhile, Gaza residents have been scrounging for green grass to put down in their stomachs in order to survive. One thing both Israelis and Palestinians agree on, the poll also indicates that 49% of Israelis and 57% of Palestinians want U.S. President-elect Barack Obama to become more involved in solving their conflict. One more item Mr. Obama needs to add to his Christmas shopping list. After, of course, Michelle, the girls, family, friends, the economy, Iraq, Iran, Afghanistan, and so on. Palestinians and Israelis are willing to wait. This is Jamal Dejani for the Mosaic Intelligence Report. To learn more about this program or to share your thoughts, visit us at linktv.org slash mir. I'll be reporting and blogging on the Huffington Post next week from Israel, the West Bank, and Gaza.
This program was brought to you by Link TV for educational and non-commercial use only. Link TV is the only U.S. television network devoted to global and national news with uncompromising documentaries and diverse cultural programs, programs which connect you to the world.